Hello my soccer universe, as we're currently in a Serie A jersey review cycle, I said okay, let's show you another jersey from my Serie A collection. Talk about that, I'm here to talk about this particular Udine, or Udine is a Calcio uh, jersey that I got, I think it's already two years ago and it was part of a package deal, but I think I got also the Manchester City and the Monaco shirt. Uh, and I think think there was another one in there, maybe the Porto shirt as well, um, where I just went to a seller and I said, okay, I have a hundred bucks. Can I get these shirts? How many? And he said, yeah, those four, this will work. And he even uh, threw in free shipping. Great. I was on the lookout for Udinese shirt for quite a while and call them now Udinese, although, you know, I'm always kind of uh, spiritualist called them Udine or Ud 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 Udinese. Um, but the main uh, reason being that I always felt they are, you know, a black and white team. They're not Juventus, so as a Lusk fan, it's easier to maybe support them. Although I have to have to say they have been a thorn in the side of Milan for years and years and years. It was always one of the, the most unpleasant away games. I remember there was a time when I knew, okay, Milan is going to play against Udinese and uh, it's not going to be easy. They're probably going to gonna lose it. And very often it happened this way. But in addition, um, not too long ago, I actually have been to Udine and I was like, actually, actually surprised. It's a small town up in northeastern Italy, but actually a really, really nice town. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I saw the stadium uh, years ago tra traveling by, uh, but that was still the old one. But then when we last time we went, I probably didn't take the right interstate because it's in the right next to an interstate. I know that that didn't work out. So. I didn't make it to the store, but we saw it downtown, and as I said, it was very enjoyable. And from that moment on, I said, yeah, I uh, definitely need an Udinese shirt. Now, um, they are not so easy to come by unless you go to the club store. But, you know, if you want to go for cheap, you need to look around. And on Wilhaben, they pop up relatively rarely. So I knew, and this one was hang hanging around for, for a while. And let's be honest. It's probably one of the oldest shirts in my collection by the pure design. And uh, in the 2000s, Udinese had quite a few weird designs. Uh, go on the football kit archive and you will see there were some really interesting takes on a black and white striped shirt. This is but one of them, but I said, hey, it might be... Um, it might be a little, a little bit odd, I might as well go, go for it. I would say we'll take a closer look of this shirt and here we go um first off this is one of this was the first lotto shirt that was not from milan in my collection uh you know lotto milan was a long long long, long time but then um yeah i didn't have that i mean so i thought this was very in, 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 interesting um i think the only thing symmetric about this one is the collar with the here and then the sleeve cuffs i am a little bit annoyed about lotto does this that they put their colored logo over because on on the red is the one thing that a little bit bothers me i think if that was uh, those logos would be pulled the gold it would be a little bit uh better of course the big feature is that yes we have black and white stripes and for some reason the crest doesn't nicely fit on this strap. This is maybe a downside. And also, uh, if you go football kit, there was a Dutch sponsor in blue, which also didn't look well. But of course the big feature features this boomerang shape in golden coming a little bit out of, out of nowhere, but it's also a little bit lotto. But it doesn't actually end there. The shirt, well here on the front, if you look at the tail, it looks kind of symmetric. If you go on the back. There's also the boomerang shape and it kind of is really asymmetric this way. So it's a really, really, really weird shirt. Uh, also look at how um, this shape here, it's cut, 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 cut in and here all the black straps are kind of rounded, rounded and here it's kind of cut. So there are some really, really odd features in it there. I do like the very golden Udinese culture here on the back. Um, it's also an XL, but it fits more like an L. Yes, <laughs> also, so uh, if you want to have, have one that fits through, through the size, uh, you want to size up on that uh, on that one. In, in, in addition, you can see there's some paneling here on the side that has some um, ventilation. The front is not so much, and here the Lotto 
uh, logo. I mean, it shows, but it's not really showing. Either it has washed out, but I think this looks rather, rather pristine. This was kind of a stealth thing. So uh, actually, if this was stealth, I don't really mind it. It's also silvery in here and it says XL. So yeah, uh, as I said, it's a little bit tight. I don't wear it all that often because of that. But I, in my Serie A review videos, you see this one very often because it is my only Udinese shirt. Surely I would like to have the one from one or two seasons ago or maybe uh, a nice away jersey as well. But for now, this is what it has to do. Now, it's not the perfect one. Also, this here is kind of a raised uh, logo. It's not the perfect one, but I actually have come to like it quite some because of its quirkiness. Uh. As for the team, this is actually another all odd thing. The season that they were wearing this jersey, the 9-10 season, was, if you look at the graph of historical performances, this was the one season in a relatively successful stretch where they were really, really bad and actually battling against the relegation, eventually finishing 15th. Despite uh, Di, Di Natale, famous Antonio Di, Di, Di Natale, uh, running riot. What's also kind of remarkable is the players that they actually had in that, that squad. They had a, a young Alexis Sanchez, they had Juan Cuadrado in there, they had uh, Mauricio Isla, you may have heard, and also Samir Andanovic, uh, who of course now uh, played for Inter for a long while as well. So. Udinese had a really, really good squad and was, was a very good, 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 uh, good team at that time, except for that one season where they almost got relegated. So in any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Do you have any Udinese jerseys in your collection? As I said, I feel I'm not done with Udinese by any, any, any stretch and I would like to get at least an away jer uh, jersey and then, you know, the one black with the white going, going across kind of the A design. I would love to have that as well. But for now, that's the one. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!